Hi there, my name is David. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to do some planner pages. Uh, what I'll be working on is uh, working on this personal size file effects that I'm using. Um, I'm using the A6 size uh, pages for, for this planner. And what I wanted to do today was actually to do some decorative pages uh, that I've tried before. Uh, on a previous project I tried to do this method and it didn't work out very well and it didn't look uh, that great. But I thought I would try this project again just to to see if I can change a few things and make this work for a much better uh, planner. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, measuring out uh, the, the planner page, uh, how it's going to be. It's basically an A4 size page that's being divided into four quarters. And uh, what I'm be doing is I'm, I'm actually going to concentrate on those four quarters to actually uh, do the actual theme or actually do the planner pages. And this is just the, the preliminary of it so that I can just see how I fit everything. Um, what I'm also going to be doing is just finding bits of magazine and bits of newspaper or anything that I find or bits of board uh, just so that I can uh, just practice out this pro project. Uh, sometimes when you've got stickers and you've got uh, expensive paper and that kind of thing, it just gets uh, really expensive and uh, you know, so you just want to try and practice something and just use what you find. Uh, here I am finding bits of newspaper and bits of, of board and I'm just uh, uh, applying it around the, 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 the drawing that I'm going to do and just to see how it looks and then I'm going to uh, put some processes on it to, to make it work. Um, this is what the, the page looks like. Um, I'm going to be painting it now. Um, I'm not going to show all the uh, painting processes uh, for this page. I just wanted to do enough just to show what I'm doing and then uh, just uh, show what it's going to look like at the end of it. Um, here I'm just putting a um, a kind of uh, primer on. It actually works like a primer and uh, what this does is just because some of it is newspaper what it does is just prevents it from discoloring and it just uh, helps in uh, uh, making the, the, the surface more flat. So when I actually paint on top of this, it can actually be a little bit translucent if I want, or if I want to uh, create uh, 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 colors on top of each other, this is something I can use with this primer. Here I am, I'm just starting the painting process. Um, I've just, uh, you know, uh, I used about three colors here. And uh, but I'm just going to show you the first color, just show you what I'm doing. Uh, after I put the primer on, uh, it goes much easier the, the painting and it doesn't pull the paper up or anything like that. Um, here I'm just uh, finishing off this one color. I'm not showing you all the painting process. Uh, so this is just the, the little bit I'm going to show. Um, this is just a, a theme I'm trying for the area that I live in. It's a kind of more of a, a modern area uh, of, of, of London and I just thought it'd be nice to do. Uh, this is the finished page that I've done. Uh, I, I actually went back to it a little bit just to put a little bit more color on it and, and I also put it a, a white process on it as well just to make it more interesting. Um, overall the page came out alright. I was quite pleased with it and uh, I, I looked at it a little bit more and uh, when I put a bit more color on it, it looked really great. Um, once I photocopied it, it looked really great. Here's the photocopied version of it and it looked really great and I was quite pleased on how it came out. Uh, 
Uh, here is the, the, the page that I'm working on. I'm going to cut it into four sections. Uh, these four sections will become four pages and it's probably about eight working pages I, I would say uh, for this planner. Um, I'm quite pleased how it came out. I wasn't sure it was going to come out the way I was, I was hoping. Uh, I wanted to do a bit of a theme and actually the theme actually worked out all right. Um, these pages are, um, are a little bit thicker than I thought. Uh, uh, this is uh, photocopy paper, so some photocopy paper can be much thicker, so you just got to have a look and see what uh, you, you've been given or, or what kind of paper you're working from. Uh, the previous project that I attempted, um, I didn't actually do a theme to it. I just put a whole lot of bits of pieces together. And then when I looked at it, it looked okay. But then uh, when I cut it out, it wasn't all right. Um, it's better to try and concentrate and, and do a kind of theme if you can. Because, you know, it, it, uh, it actually gives exactly what you want it to do and how it works. Here are the four pages. This is what it looks like and this is what's going to go into the actual planner. And um, actually overall I really enjoyed this. It was really a nice project. Uh, here I'm going to cut the uh, page pieces. I just notch it and uh, you know you can put uh, file reinforcers on you if you want and uh, it's really quite uh, uh, an easy project to do. Um, I will be doing this project again uh, because I think it's come out all right. Um, I'd really like the pages. Uh, what I did was I just took some white strips of wa washi and I just put it on the edge. Or you can take white strips of paper or board and you can put it on the edge where the, the white bits need to show. Um, here I am, I'm just notching it and uh, here you can see how the pages are going to look on the inside of the planner. Um, these pages are really uh, interesting to work with. Um, here I am, I, I haven't uh, done a dashboard. I just wanted to show that I, I needed to change the dashboard because it's still got the Halloween uh, dashboard on that I made. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to change the dashboard. Um, I, I like this picture. It's still a little bit old to me. Um, some of our trees are still green here in London. We've had a lot of rain and usually when there's a lot of rain the, the trees tend to stay greener a little bit longer. But it has, some, it has gotten cold so we haven't had a full winter yet. So I think this dashboard is, is, uh, is the, the best one to use. <music> Uh, here I am where I'm going to take out the old dashboard and uh, this is what I'm going to do with this and just uh, take it out and just change it for the new dashboard. Um, it, there wasn't much to do here really. Um, I really like the the new dashboard. It, it actually looks really quite uh, good and uh, it was really quite easy to do. And uh, I found this picture on the internet so I thought I'd just use this picture. Um, I often just uh, look for pictures that I can find from somewhere or I make my own pictures. It just depends on, on the project and what I want to do. I just found this uh, picture worked really well. Um, I just wanted to make it also very simple. I didn't want to do a lot of uh, pictures and diagrams for the dashboard. Um, and I thought this would, uh, you know, this uh, really is the colors I want. The other thing is the, the leaf uh, that's on the picture kind of looks a little bit Christmassy as well. So it's just kind of a reminder that Christmas is coming and that I need to sort out um, my pages for that. Um, these pages are, um, are relatively easy. Um, the other thing is uh, I just wanted to, um, you know, uh, fit these pages and see what it looks like overall. And also I wanted to practice with my type uh, typewriter and use the typewriter to do these pages. Um, I've got to try and figure out how to do back pages a little bit better. I wanted to do pages that had a little bit more tone. 
um, maybe a, uh, with two colors in it and uh, just to focus on some of these pages um, so that they can uh, look a bit better I really am trying to make my planners a little bit more neater because I think if it looks a little bit more tidy it will um, make a better looking planner um, these pages I won't be keeping uh, when when the, when the end of the year comes I will be throwing these pages away but I will be keeping the artwork uh, you know just in case I need it for another project for next year um, I really love these pages. They came out really well. I'm so pleased with it. And I think uh, I'm going to be doing this a lot more. Um, here you can see the, 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 the other side of the pages that, that were photocopied. So these are going to look really great. Um, I'm going to do this project again. And I'm going to do it also for my Filofax Mini, which I'll be doing in the next video. Well, this is the end of the video. I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment.